Greetings, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to English Mastery Academy's A1 English Mastery course. In our previous class we learned a wonderful topic, expressing gratitude, a lesson filled with appreciation, warmth, and engaging exercises. In our English Mastery Academy, not only we are learning English, but also we are learning English in a good manner which makes our English and our skills more respectful. Hence today, in this 8th lesson, we're delving into another essential topic, apologizing and excusing, which all beginners should learn initially. Get ready for a lesson filled with empathy, understanding, and real-life scenarios. Before we get into the lesson, if you haven't watched the previous classes, I will the playlist on here on the i button and also in the description box. Please check the videos and learn English in the right order. Students mark your attendance in the comment box and as always, get ready with your pen and paper. Let's jump in. Why should we learn to apologize and excuses? Whether you're saying sorry or gracefully excusing yourself, these skills are key to effective communication. This shows our humanity and kindness too. Now you have understood the importance. Come on students, let's make this lesson both insightful and practical. We are going to learn more than 10 phrases to make your English conversation more effective by apologizing and excusing. Apologizing sincerely. 1. Understanding apologies. Apologizing is more than just saying, I'm sorry. Apologizing is an expression of remorse acknowledgement. It's more than a set phrase, it's a sincere communication of regret. Apologies for acknowledging and expressing regret for a mistake or inconvenience. Exercise. Share a scenario where you recently apologized or someone apologized to you. What words were used? Pause the class and share your words. Students remember the exercises which I'm giving are to improve your English. So please be sincere. 2. Sincere Apology Phrases Let's explore sincere apology phrases like, I apologize, and, I'm sorry. Understanding when and how to use these phrases is key to sincerity. Exercise. Convey sincerely apologize for a mistake which you made today. Excusing yourself politely. 3. Polite ways to excuse yourself. Sometimes, politeness is in excusing ourselves. So, we need to step away or decline an invitation politely. Learn phrases like, excuse me, and, I'm afraid I can't. Exercise. Practice excusing yourself from a conversation or declining an invitation. Then, 4. Reasonable excuses. Explore providing reasonable excuses for not being able to do something. It's about being honest and considerate. Exercise. Create excuses for various scenarios, considering politeness and honesty. Next, let's look into a live scenario demonstration. Now, let's dive into a live scenario. Imagine you accidentally bump into someone in a crowded place. How would you apologize? What words were used? Pause the class and share a scenario where you accidentally bump into someone and you apologize sincerely. Apologizing for different situations. 5. Apologizing for lateness. Lateness is common, and lateness can happen to anyone. Apologies for it should be genuine. Learn how to apologize sincerely for being late with phrases like, I'm sorry I'm late, and how to navigate this situation. Exercise. Say an apology for being late to a meeting or appointment. 6. Apologizing for misunderstandings. Misunderstandings happen or occur, but apologies can mend them. Explore phrases like, I'm sorry for the confusion, and, I didn't mean to mislead. Exercise. Craft an apology for a recent misunderstanding, considering clarity and sincerity. Let's make this class interactive. Share in the comments a situation where you struggled with apologizing or excusing yourself. We'll discuss and pro-improvement implement. Accepting and responding to apologies. 7. Accepting apologies gracefully. 
Responding to apologies requires grace. When someone apologizes to you, responding gracefully is important. Learn phrases like, that's okay, and, no problem. Exercise. Students share scenarios in which you accept apologies gracefully. 8. Responding to excuses. When someone provides an excuse, responding politely shows understanding. Explore phrases like, no worries, and, I understand. Exercise. Practice responding to different excuses with empathy and understanding. Congratulations students! You've navigated the world of apologies and excuses in A1 English course lesson 8. As beginners this phrases are enough for you. We are in a long journey, there is a long way to go. So, let's learn more in our upcoming lessons. Challenge. Now, here's your challenge. Apologize or excuse yourself in a real-life scenario this week. Share your experiences in the comments and let's continue the learning journey together. If you like this lesson please hit the like button and share it with your fellow learners, and subscribe for more effective lessons, also click the bell icon to get notified on every new lesson. Do you want to continue your learning journey? Choose any video here or visit our channel for unlimited lessons to improve your English language. Until next time, happy apologizing and excusing.